All right, we're here for the Wild West Zones race number four at Monza. This is uh, the version of the track without the first chicane, so it's a little faster and a little drafty. So looking forward to this, it should be fun. I put it on uh, on grid in P6 um, with a 140.4. Um, so we'll see how it goes. This is a scary track yeah, luck, for a lot Jen, of different reasons. Remember, it's a 40 minute race, lots of time. Take it easy going into that turn at the end of the street. A lot of really fast guys in front of me and a lot of fast guys behind me. And it's a draft track, so no position is really safe until you break about a second. 1.1, 1.2 seconds um, is where you break the draft a little bit. So um, got to commend people on interesting bumper stickers on their cars. Good luck, everybody. Have a good race, everybody. Teddy Framheim is back uh, with us. He is one of the faster guys, uh, but uh, hasn't raced with WWZ in quite some time. Of course, Derwin is always fast, and so to see Teddy Teddy Framhine on top of Derwin Kostanak, you know Teddy's fast, <laughs> especially if he hasn't been doing a lot of practicing. Um, Rodney Campbell's fast here. Um, he and I had some good uh, back and forth and some of the uh, pre-races, which was a lot of fun. The track temp is 83 Fahrenheit, it's be a good one. sixth place. Follow car number six. Got Rick Reinsberg behind me. That's never, never happens. Rick, what have you done? Okay, keep her tight. Chip, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Floor it. This is what I meant by scary. Hey, sorry, Chris, yeah. Doing what you're doing, this is spot on. B4.
E5. Come on, ship. Good stuff. Keep it coming. with that eat up that I did. I'll take the high side. Keep your concentration. Make the bastard work for it. That was me, Robert, but I thought you saw me there. I think I forgot. All good. All good. Behind is reeling you in. The gap is now zero point four one. P four.
man, this is disappointing. There's decent pace in this car, V6. Okay, Chip, keep Adam on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. Time to get defensive, Emmett, mate. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Need to back my freaking point up! Sorry, Robert, kick that. Thanks, Randall. Yeah, I just pushed right at you. Sorry, man. No worries. Fighting hard. Okay, Chip. Stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Easy for you to say. I'm not gonna fight this, go ahead. Go ahead, guys. I've been out of the race for about 10 minutes.
scorch your nerve. Make them do the work. I'm gonna pass you on the right here, maybe. Or maybe not. <laughs> Thank you. P6. Thanks, Randy. Don't defend, Mark. Just go get shit. Sorry, Graham. Uh, Wow, nice work. Stick with him, keep him under pressure. spin in practice, I'm a lot more careful going through there than I used to be. It'd be a little faster. B5. We're running on fumes, mate. Box this lap. 
please chip. Very little fuel left. Hit this lap, in this lap. Wait, should be Bonanza and Pitt. I'm sure they're getting the same warnings. Okay, Chip. As a car exits in the pits, heads up. Pit lane speed limit is 40 miles per hour. All clear on pit exit, you can push now. The pit window is now open. Still 83 degrees Fahrenheit, so hot. Do I can pick up a little bit of a whisper of their draft? B6. Taste. It's a wee little taste.
Let's be on the right. Thank you, Andrew. Front is now 2.0. Come on, guys, get next to each other, start fighting. I think Rick is playing with Logan, that's the only thing that makes sense Okay, Chip, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. Because he's certainly got enough draft in their business if he wanted to. Come on, turn. Need a map to that apex, I think. in front has increased to 2.9 seconds. Your last lap time was at 141.54. Yellow flag. That was a 140.83. That's me on the right. Thank you, sir. That's me on the right. Head is now 2.9 seconds. Come 
I'm not liking my chances unless these guys start fighting. Sector 3 is 0 0.45 off the pace. The gap behind is now 6.2. Okay, okay Chip, 10 minutes to go, that's 10 minutes left. That's just sad right there. Jesus. And now they're side by side, and I'm screwing up the chicane. Jesus. Sector 2 is 0.9 off the pace. Ahead is now 3.4 seconds. P six. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. We'll say a little prayer then. I'm sure that's enough though. The gap in front is now 3.6 seconds. Sector 1 is 0 0.47 off the pace. <laughs> 
sadly I seem to have left my talent a race or two back. This is, uh, I'm hot and tired. <laughs> Welcome past left. And this guy's just keeping okay, further thanks. and further ahead of me. It's that draft. It works really well for two cars. Actually, four cars if you're in it. Gap in front is increasing. It's now 4.8 seconds. Thank you, thank you. All right, Chip. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Nice and smooth. Don't overdrive the car. Sector one is 0 0.44 off the pace. Stacy a little bit here at Dillon Draft. The outside, Teddy. The gap to Holmes behind is now 7.4 seconds. Push now, we can catch up here. Catch me on the right, go ahead. Take the inside, Teddy. Thank you. The gap in front is now 4.2 seconds. Okay, Chip. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. P5.
I'm on a fuel safe, so feel free to go around on the right. Uh, White flag came out of lap late. No, I'm so bad. White flag, one more lap. Very little fuel left. Yeah. I didn't get your check, Rodney, or I would. Sector one time is good. Off the pace. We're running on fumes, mate. That's painful. <laughs> Did you run out in the last corner? One gallon remaining. Yep. That sucks. Okay, that's the finish. Well done, mate. Oof. All right, that was pretty darn fun. Um, fun track, fun configuration of that track. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, I actually, I think I had more fun in the uh, practice races that we did to get ready for this race than the actual race itself. Although um, it was fun racing uh, Rick and uh, and Logan there for a while uh, to actually kind of uh, keep up with them. Unfortunately, because uh, um, Logan got side by side and you know we were battling a little bit and battling a little bit with Mark, um, that we lost the draft of the front guys and uh, could have been an interesting race um because rodney is a is a hoot to race with um if we had been able to keep on his tail um, that could have been kind of a fun ending to the race as well um teddy um teddy's so darn fast that he burned more fuel than uh, anybody anticipated so he ran out of fuel at the very end i'm not sure if that was a pit stop error or if it was just simply he did not have enough fuel available in two stops to get through the entire race but um he he led most of it uh started pole position and um, uh, just uh, wound up losing out at the very end there to fall back to third. But great race and great to see Teddy again racing with us. I haven't seen him with us for a little while. So really exciting to have him back in the fray. Hopefully we can keep him engaged and uh, um, get him back to, to run with us a few more times before um, we wrap up the zone, zone group challenge. So um, Derwin, um, wound up uh, winning the race because of Teddy's fuel problem. Um, Rodney had the fastest lap with a 139.617, which, given how hot the track was, that's moving. Um, and then Teddy finished third. So good, uh, good race by the pros. Um, in club, um, Logan was up just in front of me and uh, in front of uh, Rick for most of, of the race. I think they were back and forth a little bit more. Um, Great race by him. Um, again, he kind of made it difficult for me to hold on to the uh, the draft of uh, the the guys up in front, and um, it it just didn't work out to uh, to get any further up the field um, from there. But uh, good race. Um, he got the fastest lap uh, in club uh, one thirty nine nine two one. So very good on him. He got the extra point for that. And uh, Brett Holmes, who man. I've never felt so bad in the middle of a race. I, I realized uh, that, you know, he stopped in front of me on that lap one or slowed down really early. And um, I had decided that I was going to try to cut in and take the chicane behind him. And he hit the brakes too soon. And so I weaved back. And according to my client, I missed him. And I looked back at the replay and there's like about a foot between our two cars. But 
whatever happened, it was net code. Um, he got a little bit of a swervy and uh, wound up hitting the wall and had to take a pit um, early in the race. Um, he registered only a 2x. I didn't register anything. I didn't even register a 0x for the contact. So not really sure what happened there. Um, I think that there were some other indications in the race that there were some server problems along the way, some connectivity to the server itself that, that were having some problems. But I apologize to Brett because regardless of uh, whether or not it was netcode or not, um, I own that incident um, in terms of, you know, hitting somebody from behind. So I apologize to him. He said no big deal, but still, I, I felt really bad. Um, luckily enough, he was able to um, recover and uh, he finished one one position um, overall behind me. So he he did probably, I don't know that he would have caught Logan. Um, maybe he would have, but um, it definitely um, uh, he, he was able to recover well enough to, to, to race on and, and do fairly well. He finished second tonight. Um, and then uh, Volker finished in third in club. Um, so moving on to sport. Um, I finished in first place. Um, I started in first, so I got the pole position point, so I got the extra point there. Um, didn't quite have enough um, to get the fastest lap, and I I don't know if that was the temperature that was bugging me or or what it was, but the I just couldn't seem to get grip um, coming out, and, and really exit grip is what I rely on to get a lot of my speed, um, and uh, just could not do it. So Jake got the fastest lap of the race, um, Enrico finished in second in sport um, and uh, got the 32 point haul there. So that's great. The guys in um, challenge raced really great. Um, one of the things I wanted to call out, Steve actually said this over the radio. This is the fewest incident points he's gotten in a race it was two. So congrats, Steve. That's awesome. Um, good job keeping it clean out there. Uh, Mark Lacombe um, finished first in challenge. He was uh, got the pole position. He had the fastest lap out of the group. So he hauls in two um, of the bonus points and uh, finishes with 37 in this race. Stacy getting set or Steve getting second and then Stacy um, winding up in third. So congratulations for all of them. So what does that mean in the series? Let's take a look here. Um, in pro, Derwin stays on top with 110 total points uh, with the race two being dropped. Rick stays in second with tonight's race results being dropped and Shea is uh, in third um, with tonight's race being dropped as well. So we got some uh, pretty exciting stuff coming up. Like I said, I hope that um, both Arthur Chan um, and Teddy showed up tonight and raced with us. I hope that they will continue racing with us uh, through the conclusion. It's good to have them on track. Um, it's it's good to see fast guys and you can learn from them and that that's, that's always good. Um, in club, this is how things stand right now. Logan's on top. Volker's in second, Brett is in third, and if we look at sport, um, I'm still in first, Jake is behind me by about 12 points, and then Joe Evers behind him in third, and then in challenge, Mark still leading um, in with 109 total points, Steve in second, tied with Todd Rosman, 84 tied with Stacy with 84 tied with Robert Palmer with 84. So tight race there in challenge for that third spot. Now we do have a tie break um, protocol that we stick to. It's, a, it's according to the iRacing sporting code and it basically takes into account wins and, you know, top finishes and all sorts of different things. And so it's kind of a really <laughs> involved process to calculate a tie break. But uh, we do have a means to do that if they do wind up with the same points at the end. And in fact, um, Stephen Chin, who does our score sheets, he may already have that baked into the score sheet so that we actually know the outcome of those things by virtue of um, how he set up the spreadsheet. So this may be the order in which they are based on that. Um, I don't I can't guarantee that I can't quote quote. Don't quote me on that. Um, but that that could be already the case. At any rate, that is a wrap for race four. Race five will be next week, next Friday at the Red Bull Ring. I love that track. Um, I've driven that track quite a lot. So I'm looking forward to seeing how um, this group shakes out um, at that track and, uh, and how I can finish. Um, the final race will be at the Indy Road Course um, a week from next Friday. And um, so we'll see. This will wrap up here fairly quickly. It's uh, 
boom, 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 and then uh, then we'll be set up to go to the Zone Group Championship. Of course, that's going to start on February 16th. We're breaking that up into Wednesday night, Friday night races again. So Challenge and um, Sport will race on Wednesdays, and Club and Pro will race on Friday. So uh, February 16th to kick it off with Challenge Sport race, and then February 18th we'll click kick off the Club and Pro race. So um, that will be at Auto Club Speedway. Um, in that first race, and it's a three-race series, so um, we'll be visiting Barber and VIR uh, to conclude that series. So that's the Zone Group Championship, where all of the points of everybody competing are going to be aggregated together, averaged out, and uh, that's going to happen for each class. And then those added together will amass the Zone Group points. So um, it's really about the Zone Group competition and how the Zone Group can compete and prepare and perform together. So looking forward to seeing that all come come together. It should be a lot of fun, some great tracks, and um, I hope you will definitely join us for that. And uh, make sure to like or subscribe. If you, uh, if you like the race, you enjoyed it, you're here listening to me at the end, please click on like. Um, and if you like this type of racing, this type of content, please click subri- subscribe. Not surprise. And um, if you have any comments, I'd love to hear those as well. So uh, definitely let me know what you think of uh, this race and uh, what you think of uh, Red Bull Ring as the next uh, the next can that we get to kick. I I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Take care. Spaß machen Rennsport.